Hi everyone, my name's Holly, and I was asked to um, add in a quick slide before the presentation to give a little bit of background about myself. So a couple quick facts are that I just graduated from, from Purdue. Um, I have my master's degree, and I strive to be one of the thought leaders in the what's known as the green movement. Um, my most recent work was this past summer, I worked over at Apple in environmental initiatives. And then, um, so I was named one of 2013's top college entrepreneurs of the year for this mission that I'm about to share with you guys today. Some of you might agree that you'd like a greater sense of control in your lives. Many of you would agree that you'd like more money. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could have both of these things and be doing good for society? Well, like I said, about a year back, I was on this mission, this threefold mission to be an entrepreneur. Now, what that meant to me was to be creating impact as well as being, doing good for society. So each year, we, as a country, contribute a certain weight of containers and packaging into our landfills. Now, this weight, as reported by the Clean Air Council, is 152 billion pounds every single year. 152 billion pounds, that's a really, really big number. So to help you guys wrap your mind around that, let's take one of the tallest buildings in the world, the Empire State Building, which is 102 stories high. Now, try to imagine the weight of the Empire State Building. Multiply that by 200. That's equivalent to the weight of containers and packaging that we are feeding into the landfills on an annual basis. So I present this solution that's not only critical to the life of our planet, our home, but is able to offer you guys a greater sense of control, more money, and a chance to do good. The solution is the reusable container system and the dispenser method for goods like oatmeal, beans, pasta, soup mixes, rice, you name it. It also works for cold items like milk, eggs, and even ice cream. What's beautiful about the reusable container system is that it doesn't only apply to the grocery industry, but it also applies to any packaged consumable. So think cosmetics, electronics, and even last night, I was um, talking to one of my fellow speakers at the speaker dinner, and he was talking about his wife in the toy industry and how she's trying to push for sustainable packaging as well. So really, this idea can be applied virtually anywhere with packaging. If we think about it, if we think about consumers' needs, a family of five has vastly different shopping needs than a single person. So. Now with the reusable container method and the dispenser method, we're able to buy the exact amount of any given product that we need. Hence, you can have greater sense of control in your shopping. What's now and what's happening now is what I call single stream packaging, where resources are being used to package an item, that item is consumed, and then what happens to the packaging generally one of two things. It either A, goes to a finite space, our landfills, or B, goes to a place where even more resources and energy are being used to break it down for recycling. This is a very repeated process, repeatedly using our finite resources as well as our finite landfill space. So what could be is what I call the closed loop method. And the closed loop method is able to take single stream packaging and close the loop so we bring the containers back to the original companies. Now with the closed loop method, we're able to save on the cost of the overhead for manufacturing packaging, saving companies more money and having that savings pass on to the consumers, meaning more money for you. Also through this closed loop method, we're able to greatly reduce the amount of the finite resources in the finite landfill space that we're using. This giving you guys an opportunity to be doing good for society. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, about a year back, I was on this threefold mission to be an entrepreneur, and I was very fortunate to have the media catch fire. So as the media caught fire and the word spread, I kept being asked this one consistent question. People would come up to me and they would say, Holly, this is a really, really wonderful idea, but as the media spreads and as the word grows, aren't you afraid that the successful companies that are already out there are gonna take this idea and make it happen? My response would oftentimes surprise them and catch them off guard and I would say, that would be wonderful. If companies are able to take this idea and make it happen, that to me is, is success. As a matter of fact, I would love to work with these companies in making it happen. So, I'm here to plant the idea seed. I'm here to be a catalyst for change and help make this happen. I no longer just stand before you today as this entrepreneur on a threefold mission to build the business from the ground up. I, in other words, I no longer stand in front of you today as these symbolic three circles, but I stand in front of you today as a triangle. And this is for all of my fellow math nerds out there, a triangle signifying delta and delta signifying change. So I'm here to be a catalyst for change. So rather than continuing to go the direction that we've been going, I urge you and those companies who are ready to make change happen to join me in allowing for an opportunity to gain a greater sense of control, save more money, as well as be doing good for society. Join me in closing the loop.